Hey guys, welcome back to Deck Room with Tarot. So today's deck walkthrough video is going to be a double deck walkthrough. I got the Rose Gold Edition of the Threads of Fate Oracle and the Weaver Tarot, also by Threads of Fate. And then this is the Journeyer, Journeyer, Journeyer Edition. I can't even pronounce it. <laughs> um, so... Well, yeah, take a look. I got this shiny hollow card, and then this other um, card came in the box. It says the universe. I don't know if that's a spare card or if it's something else, um, just kind of like a bonus. And then there's this little postcard in there, too. So we're going to go ahead and start with the Rose Gold Edition Oracle. So I was so excited to get this because the cards are a matte black cardstock. And they have a rose gold foil on them. Which, like, anyone who knows me knows that I love all things rose gold. Like, my laptop's rose gold, my phone case is rose gold, my AirPods case is rose gold. So it does have a guidebook in here. Um, looks like it's a little scuffed up. Um, I was going to originally be a little bummed out that it was scuffed a little bit. But then I remembered I did take a discount because they do offer some bent and damaged um, decks. It's usually on like the book or the box. Um, and then they sell them at a discount. Because if you've seen these decks online, they are not cheap. They're probably one of the more expensive decks that I've picked up. So anytime you can get a discount, definitely do it. They usually have a discount if you sign up for their newsletter also. So let's go ahead and flip through these. Since they are foil, they might be a little hard to see on the screen here. I'll do my best, though, to show you guys what you can see. Got some animals in here. I do like that death card, it's really pretty. I love how simplistic these are, but yet there's a lot of imagery to them. That's really pretty too. I love the bird.
All right, guys, that wraps it up for the Threads of Fate Rose Gold Oracle. Um, let's see. They are that shiny hollow. Um, hopefully you guys were able to get a good image on them here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put these back. And then we're going to switch over to the Threads of Fate, um, the Weaver Tarot. So similar style and layout to the Oracle deck. Um, there is a little guidebook that comes with it. Um, pretty standard guidebook it looks like. And then we'll slide this little plastic off here. It does come with this little hollow um, card with the list of all the cards on it and kind of like a short um, descriptor to give you some triggering keywords for each card. So I really like that. It also tells you what each of the um, different things mean if you see images like on the cards. So that's really nice. So these are also a hollow card deck. Um, it's got the hollow on the back. It's got this nice gold color on the um, sides of the cards. I really like that. My Moonchild deck also has about that same color. It's like a gold and it's a little sparkly. So let's take a look. We'll go ahead and get started. These are hollow cards. They kind of have a... Like they change color almost as you turn them. And this is the Major Arcana. Similar artwork style to the Oracle deck. I do like this strength card a lot. It's not your traditional strength card. It doesn't have a lion on it. Um, as most of you know, I kind of get burnt out on seeing the lion on every strength card. Like, yeah, consistency, but it just doesn't do it for me. I want to see something different. Not all lions are strong. There's other things that are strong too, you know? I do like this devil card though. Eh, my tower card's kind of meh to me. Um, hey, I, I always judge decks on, like, their death card and their tarot card. Or the tower card, not the tower. <laughs> <laughs> so, that tower card. Um, and that one just, I don't know, it just looked like a rock to me. And it didn't, it didn't really evoke a lot of emotion for me. So, that's kind of disappointing. And we're moving into the wands. I'm not sure how I feel about these wands because, like, they kind of look more like sticks to me versus wands. I just can't get over the hollow on these cards. Like, they're so shimmery and shiny, and it's just like it really catches your eye and draws you in. They are so pretty. Now we're moving into the cups. Looks like we've been using champagne cups for our, or champagne flutes for our cups. Thanks for putting up with me. I'm a little nasally and sniffly today. I'm getting over a cold. I'm 
Might be allergies too. Seasons are changing. And we're moving into the swords. So the swords are always my favorite deck. Or <laughs> my favorite <sighs> suit in the deck. I do like that three of swords card. I just can't get over how pretty these cards are. They're almost too pretty and like I don't want to use them for readings, but I'm definitely going to have to because there's no way you can spend this much on cards and then not use them. These are gorgeous. We're moving into the pentacles or the coins. I feel like there's a lot more going on in these coins cards than some of the other suits. All right, so that wraps it up for the coins. So hopefully you guys got a good look at those. With being that foil and the hollow, th these cards are definitely hard to pick up on camera. Um, I'm really excited to get a chance to use these. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me, and I will see you again soon. Bye.